currency number two meekness and humility help the lady outside who shouts the power of god is coming on a lady outside this row by my left outside right now first corinthians chapter 8 please first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 pride has been the undoing of many potential champions please give it to us media let's work together it says and if any man think that he knoweth anything it says he knoweth nothing as he ought to know the more i know you the more i want to know you jesus more of you the more i see your face the more i want to see you jesus more humility and meekness it says let any man who thinks he knows you you can already see the limitation that men place upon their lives by the pride and the arrogance that follows them over little little prophecy little sign and wonder little miracle little financial prosperity it is in the character of god to test you with little of what he wants to give you much of and watch your reaction can i tell you everything god gives you the first time is never the level he intends to give if god trusts you with a grace for the prophetic that is only a test i assure you there is a greater level but you will watch for the currency of humility i just said the prophetic and i just saw an eagle may that grace rest right now i've seen the number seven that grace for the prophetic let there be a quickening in your spirit man right now i declare and declare seven that number new streams of the prophetic spring up all wells in the name of jesus the son of the living god help them please please sit down sit down humility and meekness we have to find somewhere to pray james chapter 1 and verse 21 please take it high for me 121 james the bible says wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness meekness that means i do not know enough no matter how great you are using me oh god there is more no matter the revelation i know there is more the bible says that state itself is currency in the spirit many preachers have begged their growth because of the arrogance of little results many businessmen especially in africa are unable to rise when people come to church they are listening let me hear if i can gain one or two things whereas there is absolutely nothing working in their life buy the truth with the currency of meekness every time i go to god i don't approach him as a man of god I go with humility. Lord, thank you for what you have shown me. Oh, but there are virgin dimensions in the spirit that I have not seen. And while the world is clapping for you and calling you all those names, you acknowledge sincerely, but you know. Is someone hearing? Someone will, after this conference, need to go for a personal retreat and lock yourself and repent from pride. Repent from pride lord bring me to a point of humility let any man that thinks he knoweth know that he does not know as he ought to 
I will always give this example in a grading system there are many intelligent people and learned people here in a grading system of A, B, C, D, E, F if a student gets 2% and a student gets another student gets 10% and another student gets 35 percent and another student gets 39 percent who was the highest 39 percent so if you are to give the highest award who will you give 39 percent but who passed among them so the one who collected the award will rejoice that he was more than others not knowing that all who got f they will all stand in the same place this is the fallacy of mediocrity. Comparing themselves with themselves. The Bible says they are not wise. Is someone learning? The adventure in this kingdom is not who you are better than. The adventure in this kingdom is rising to the mark of the price of the high calling in Christ. So if you pray for 10 minutes, you are better than the one who does not pray. So you say, but is that enough to deliver that which you desire? Currency number two, humility and meekness.